Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm with Paul Falconer. Good morning. Good morning. And uh, we're in Epsom, on Epsom Downs near the race course. And uh, Paul, you might remember from us walking the North Downs Way and a few other walks, um, which we did a few years ago, 2017 and 18. And we're going down past the grandstand at Epsom Racecourse, the famous Epsom Racecourse. And we're going to go down to Centenary Woods, which is a Woodland Trust, um, which I have walked through a bit of it. And uh, it's a bit fresh today. I'm in shorts because I'm hardcore. <laughs> and um, come and join us. It's going to be fun. Paul has never been to the Centenary Woods and used to live around here, didn't he? Uh, over in Tolworth, uh, Tolworth, uh, Tadworth, Tadworth. Yeah. Look at my hair. That's gonna. Can't do anything with it. <laughs> no, I had it cut actually. Um, but yes, yeah, very nice. Getting hot already. I've only got a t-shirt on and a, and a, and a jump. It's not. It's not that cold. I feel the cold less and less with the breath work. Yeah. But we might be, break out into a bit of a jog because I know Mark likes running. So Paul, here is the end or the start of the So it's the derby. beginning of the, the race course itself. So if you're watching the derby, you might often see them gathering at this end. For oh, the, right, the okay. Stretch. To those who use derbies around the world, in America and I think Australia, I think, the name comes from this race course, uh, the Earl of Derby. There you go. Yeah. You can see just how much of a slope it is as well. Yeah, it is. Oh, is it all covered up at the moment? Yeah. Right, onwards. Lovely. I walked Epsom quite a few times, Epsom Downs. Um, this is a little bit of some, I mean, I know exactly where we are, but this is all a little bit new. Lots of different paths. Yeah. Oh. Hot already. Sort of looking into people's back gardens. Yeah. What are they up to on a Saturday morning? Oh, it's a Saturday morning, by the way. It's just around the back. I'm following Paul. We think we okay. know where we're going. Pretty sure. I've got a map if we need it. I've got a map, yeah. I mean, we know the area, so it's not going to be too much. It's just around the back of Langley Vale. Langley Vale. And here's one of the uh, Corporation of London coal tax posts that around in the late 19th century. Scattered all over the south of England, especially around Epsom Downs. Yeah, it's lovely. Some of them have been done up, some haven't. But yeah, here we go. We're going through this way. I don't know this route at all. I, don't, yeah. I couldn't actually, I've sort of got my bearings in the in this grand scheme of things. It's one of the uh, kind of dog walking routes to keep the dogs away from the... Dogging routes? Not dogging routes, but dog walking. Oh yeah. Walk dog. your dogs. Oh well, you're talking about dogging. So they around. can go around, sniff around the woods. Hey. Yeah. Keep away from the horses. There's a coppiced tree. Yeah. That's grown a lot, isn't it? Cool. Oh, you found the tree. The dog drink, drinking tree. The drinking and I found the little kind of little cuppy hole where they can get, oh, yeah. get a drink. It tends to uh, retain the water. Yeah, I'm sure it's very disgusting. Yeah, the dogs will drink anything. Yeah. Wow. It's just an old boundary wall. It's, it's an old boundary wall. How old do you think this is? It's going to be at least a hundred years. Hundred years. Yeah. Yeah. I love old walls. No small doors. No small doors. You know me and my doors. Yeah, I know. I know it's me and my doors. <laughs> but I do like old old walls. So it's only about, about it's Paul saying about hundred years old. But yeah, that's great. Crumbling. A bit of a wall that has survived. Yeah. Probably. Oh, this is like I don't know. This bit that's been re rebuilt. Mm. Might have been. It's hard to say, isn't it? Why the rest being demolished and. Yeah. Yes, I walked this way before. There we go, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's either way, you can go uh, that way or that I think probably that way is probably yeah, better. Yeah. Farm. So we're heading down to the... Oh! <coughs> the woodland, I say it's not really a big woodland really. I think it's a bit not misleading. Recently but recently planted. Yeah, but it's woodland trust. 
we do fantastic work preserving our a lot of good with cherry don't yeah. like to talk about it though no <laughs> so i'll link our walk of the north downs way which is all edited together as a one big complete video for two hours long i'll link that below it's a fascinating we did that over 18 months didn't we? Yeah. Um, it was uh, beginning of april 2017 we finished november the second november the first 2018 So we are Langley Val Wood. So which way are we going? We go round anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise. And this has got a lot of um, First World War commemorative um, statues. statues. Livestock grazing. A little okay. sheepy. None of your favourite cows though. Don't do cows. No. I love cows. They're beautiful creatures but I won't go in a field with cows. <laughs> nope. Not after that incident. And you might see in a previous video where I talk about that. <laughs> so, yeah. Another nice cut out tree, hollowed out tree. Great. If you go into some yew trees, I've had them in some of my videos, and you actually go inside, and the girths are really about a foot, six foot wide. plaque for John Summers Smith, born in 1887 in Walton Hill. And John was killed in action age 28 on the first day of the Battle of the Somme. So, thank you. Yeah. So that's the other bit. As I say, so thank you for your service. Yeah. It's up on here. July the 6th, 1st of July 1916, first day of the deadly Somme offensive. Soldiers from the East Surrey Regiment. Our mod, it's very hard for our modern minds all curled up in cotton wool um, you know what they went through it's a nice one christopher tennant was one of thousands of young men who trained at tadworth camp he joined the welsh guard in may 1917. tennant's last letter was found on his body after his death death i mean dearest mother all all well i came out tonight by the time you get this you know i am through all right obviously it wasn't oh. There's nothing much to do all day except sleep now. It'll soon be English leave and that will be splendid. I got hit in the face by a small piece of shrapnel this morning, but it was a spent piece and did not even cut me. One becomes a great fatalist out here. God bless you, your loving Kiff. Griff, Cruff, sorry, your loving Cruff. Yeah, he was killed the following morning, aged 19. 19, what's that all about? Wow. The First World War changed our lives and landscapes forever. Ancient woodland, one of the richest and most precious habitats, was severely depleted, as you would imagine. Uh, today, ancient woodland covers just 2% of the UK, just 2%, it's quite a lot in, the, in Surrey. And protecting what remains of it is one of the founding principles of the Woodland Trust. So, ancient woodlands, if it's been around since 1600. 1600, yeah. I thought it was 1600. this wicker structure yeah and everyone's little yeah people's memories of people killed in the first and second world war ron haynes killed following d-day landing 1944 buried in ranville yeah so obviously kids that thank you to all you brave soldiers that let us live our lives today Isn't that credible so you've got your you can, oh here we are so you, all you need to do is take one of these They've supplied some pencils and you can write your message and stick it to the to the wicker. That's absolutely fantastic. Isn't that lovely. Look. I know it's Saturday morning, we've actually seen quite a few people, haven't we? Actually, yeah. Uh, yeah, the if you can just see it, the grandstand, Epson Grandstand in the distance, which we were there earlier. I didn't know this was all here. I thought the woodland was actually much smaller. It's actually great. That there London's over there somewhere. 
I always call it that there, London. Yeah, of course, London's the other side other of Other side of, yeah. Over towards Heathrow. Heathrow. Oh, Lovely. So we're in the Field of Remembrance, and this fantastic sculpture of old trees put together. Absolutely glorious. It's amazing, isn't it, Paul? Yeah. Go inside, and there's... Isn't that lovely? Poetry. Yeah. Try and read this one. At evening, the autumn woodlands ring with deadly weapons. Lovely. Oh. Some of the sculptures. Yeah, civilian coming a soldier. Yeah. These are really nice sculptures. Yeah. All the uh, sculptures are facing one way. I don't think there's any reason for that. Might not be. Yeah. Amazing. Well, there's a reason why there's only one down the far end. Mm -hmm. I reckon they're going to install more statues. That'd be great. Lovely place to. Here we go, Woodland Trust, the Regiment of Trees, commemorating the inspection of the troops by Lord Kitchener, Epsom Dales, January 1915. Yeah, it's a community, it's a community orchard. Yeah. Love the word orchard. I used to love it, it's really nice. It's actually quite nice and warm, it's not cold at all. Yeah. Um, so, lucky living in, in the south. Doesn't really get that cold. And we're quite high up as well. Yeah. So I'm not going back. I'm in mean, shorts, sure, bring it on. Jutland Wood, a growing tribute. Find a moment in Jutland Wood to remember all those who sacrificed so much during the biggest naval battle in the First World War. Jack Travers Cornwall, age 16, was the youngest person ever to receive the Victoria Cross, awarded posthumously in September 1916. 16? Why is someone going to war at 16? Incredible. Here you go, yeah. 1912, HMS Sparrow Hawk, six lives lost, 84 survivors. So, um, HMS Fortune, 1913, 67 lives lost, and only 10 survivors. Wow. I like the North Downs way. Paul is consulting the map. Indeed. We think we're on the right way. It's all pretty, so it's not that large. Yeah. We're, we're going to be heading that way. That way. We're going to have a pub lunch soon. I don't know why I did a northern act. Why would, why I said we'd have a pub lunch, but I thought I'd do a northern act. Why did I do a ridiculous northern act? I'm going, I'm going to have a pub lunch it's soon. It's very racist. It's not very appropriate in these not, day and age. No. I'll get cancelled. You know. There won't be any offensive jokes in the Wimbledon Fierce yeah. Panto this year, will there? <laughs> yeah, no. Oh gosh, no, 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 no. Back into the field. Okay, and we're back out. So we're going down, up, head down to Walton on the Hill. Um, everyone's a winner. This is apparently a viewpoint. Oh, I don't know if it is, because there's nothing to radius. No, it's not really, is it? Yes, but it's a, yeah, it's a lovely sculptured sculptured uh, place to stop and have a rest that's brilliant give you a little so we're heading back into Walton on the hill for a pub lunch yeah, a glass of wine will be go down well so this field is where the first world war training camps were this peaceful area of chalk grassland would look totally different during the First World War, yeah. Wow, so all this would have had all the, all the fields and the camps. Wow. 
Probably past 12, so next Probably past 12. Heading into Wharton Hill, along this trackway and uh, pub lunch. And then we're going to walk back down, hopefully down an old drove road, which I've been through before. No poor has well, but I've never filmed it. Um, I think it's a drove road. I'd be surprised if it wasn't. And uh, back to Epsom, where our cars are. They're by the race course. Okay, those who saw my recent walk back in April, I think it was, uh, and me walking down the ancient trackways around Walton on the Hill, this is where we came to Ebersham Lane, which leads back down to um, Walton on the Hill. Oh, it's hot now. We are hot. Tight for colours getting dry. Yeah, it's a bit of a yeah, a bit of a side road. This. Up on Walton on the Hill. Indeed. Yeah. First time walked from this direction here for yeah. a long time. So we're going to walk uh, and the pub is here. So, to eat. Live on bacon. Yeah. What are you eating today? I'm going to have beef, streaks, beef streaks in a sort of salad. It's really nice. And cheers. Okay. Um, we don't get too much good because we're walking back to Epsom. Uh, so that looks really nice. Yes, it's very nice. I've been in Fox and Hound for about 20 years probably, if not more. But it's very nice. Very nice. And that does look very nice, Paul. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, leaf on top. <laughs> I have never in my life of doing videos or ever done a picture of food, but that looks lovely. That really does look lovely. So I'm going to enjoy and we'll see you outside afterwards. See you later. So Paul and I have a very nice lunch in the uh, Fox and Hounds in Walton on the Hill. Very delicious, wasn't it? Yeah, never been before. Talk to the manager. Now heading down, we're going to walk back to Epsom today via an old, hopefully an old drove road. Um, yeah, come with us. No, I think the ones in the high street probably get all the yeah, trade. That's right. We've got these lovely little cottages here. Very nice. The bell, yes. Yeah, that, that goes down that way. We want to go through here and then turn right down the drove road. It's a very small pub. Tax post. Yeah, another, yeah, thank you, Paul. <laughs> good, good there. Another coal tax post. Here's a coal tax post. Which he says more eloquently. Yeah. Eloquently. This is eloquently. Cap, cap 42. In is case it? anyone's uh, checking. Oh, Cap yeah. 42. And then you can check against the other ones you've seen. Get, because it's Cap 41. Get a whole collection, like you have the Panini cards. There is a website actually has lists of all of them in the south okay. of England. Bit with too much time on their hands, a bit like a coal tax post bagging, like you do for the Wainwrights that I do. Yeah, exactly. There you go. Right, so yeah, Barbary House, public bridle way. So we're going down this way here, which I still think is an old drove road. I need to, if anyone knows better, please tell me. But I'm not sure it's an old drove road. Past these lovely houses and um, back down to Epsom Racecourse. Oh, it's down here, yeah, thank you. We're going down this way. I'm sure this is an old drove road because this goes down to Epsom Downs um, that me and Paul are walking at the moment. There's all people's back gardens this side and there's fields that side with studs in. Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's a nice... I haven't walked down here. I think it's about 2015 the last time I walked down here. Um, it's very nice. So there you go guys. A lovely walk around Epsom Downs and Centenary Wood owned by the Woodland Trust. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have please hit that like button, please subscribe, please leave a comment if you've got anything to add. Uh, very much appreciated. And from Paul. Him. Him. him it's good night from him. Good night from him. And from me, Mark. We'll see you next time. Take care.